I'm here in Thailand in an electric motorcycle factory owned by a Thai company called Thai Motor. In Thailand, around 750 cars are sold per year, but almost 2 million motorcycles are sold every year, almost three times more. The vast majority of them are ICE, running on internal combustion engine. Tesla makes a lot of electric vehicles, but Elon Musk has mentioned they are unlikely to make motorcycles. That's where companies like iMoto comes in. The owner was kind enough to allow me the privilege of filming his factory for the first time to show the world what making electric motorcycles looks like. These bikes will go on sale in Thailand very soon. So join me across different stations as we take a tour. Now, I'm not an engineer. I'm not technically trained. I'm just going to give you a layman's perspective of what building the future looks like over here. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on electric vehicles. Not just four wheels, but two wheels. Come join me. As we head to the welding station, you notice here that we've got high tensile strength automotive grade steel. All these parts are going to come together to be welded to form the body of the bike, which is right behind us. Let's take a look. So you can see the welding machine right behind me, fusing all the parts together to build the frame of the motorcycle. Once everything is done, we then go into a checking station to check the position of all the parts. You see this machine behind me in yellow? The body is right inside. You can see over here the frame of the bike. This machine ensures that all the positions are correct. If they're good to go, we then take more precise measurements in the measurement lab right behind us. So let's join me over there. See the white room behind me? That's where we're heading to. We just came from the welding station behind us. And now we're here at the measurement station where you see the frame of the electric bike being measured by a fire alarm. So we have Tony to walk us through what is happening here. In this room, after we weld from, from, the, from the factory side, we will go to this left with the fire alarm to check the standard of welding. Because uh, every position, they have to in the right position after we engineer it, right? And after we check with the faro arm, we will go to the C, uh, we will go to C in the screen, okay, to make sure that because uh, every, every touch point in the frame, we will re uh, it will report to this screen also. And the report will show us that which position is not right, it's not correct. Got it. So, precision measuring. After all the measurements are taken by the faro arm, it generates a report to let everyone know that the frame is good for use. We're now in the assembly area, so let's check out the assembly line. Where each of these bikes takes us three minutes from start to end of assembly line. It's my first time in a bike assembly line. See all the different components to assemble the bike around us with these blue pallet trays. And here, you see assembly line. Obviously not as long as a car assembly line, it's a bike. Yes. Hello. 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 So here I have Kun Boy, who is our QA manager, who's going to give us a guided tour of the entire assembly line process. How do we begin? Yes. First, we explain for the main storage for the component part. It is component part for on or to assemble the lab. Okay, then I to show you all the first. Okay. So now we're heading down towards the first step. Yes. Okay. First process. It is for the uh, stilling stem for the a part of a uh, steering system of the motorcycle. Uh, first, take the ball left for this and then take the stem to the ball left. And then it is first step. So you can see down here the purpose of this machine is yes. to apply pressure, yeah, pressure to make sure that there are no gaps yes, in the no entire gap. steering step. Yes. Number two, 
for two three second and then lead it what is it okay this is lead and complete lead okay so then, once we finish that one we hit down here we ah okay Okay, this is for the wind number for by laser laser making. This is important for the resistor to the our complement or can export. If mistake, we cannot send the physical to the market. Okay, we show for how to do. It is the protein digit by the PCE standard. So the location, so the country, and so the what type of motorcycle, what the power, power what, and five five digit is for the number. So there you have it, the first time seeing a VIN being printed by a laser. This is not a real VIN. You cannot take this VIN and go and drive in Thailand. This is a fake one just to show you how it works. So this is a very important step for car owners or motorcycle owners. Your VIN is basically the identity of your vehicle. What happens next, good boy? Okay, why don't I take this? Take this two for the uh, apple left and logo left for the Wow. Holding support for the bearing. If the bearing up and down side, you should have the support first. Then you can uh, take the bearing to the upper and lower. This is also this step for control the texture and no need to uh, no need for the gap or loosen part from the low. Okay. This machine same as the earlier machine. He applies pressure to make sure that there are no loose parts in for the safety of the rider. Okay, okay let's set. I show you for the ah. Uh, Chain for the electric water tackle by this is for the water for they make the power and number two they had the sourcing light oil for the battery and for the light the brain is see the ECM or ECU for the control of everything function on the uh, motorcycle and this day for show you uh, status of battery speed signal for the light and another important for the lamp because the on this part we show you we show refer or uh, UN ECE for uh, international standard we require to make sure before send part to go to the assembly line. So again, it's a final quality check to make sure everything works. To recap, this is the battery of your EV bike. This is your motor. You have your ECU and then the instrument panel or the lights over here. So after quality inspection, we then get back towards the line. Yes, we got to the line. Now, Kun Boy was mentioning that this entire line follows uh, Toyota's just-in-time approach. Yes, have a look. For this, this is for the uh, main storage, and this mini storage line for the sub part. When we need receive, we take one by one. We can change for the colors, change change the type, and flexible or agile to make model or option with customer required. Then I show you for the... Okay. To, for context, today is a public holiday in Thailand, so the assembly line is not actually active, which gives us the opportunity to actually have some downtime to show you how the assembly line works. Yeah, this is for the uh, main structure SMB. The SMB for the scaling system, Ah, uh, frame, swimming arm, top suspension, and 
losing of bag and main of winning hand it. They control for the talk. It's important for control the talk and losing of part. This is on what for the talk is important. We can control the talk by side of uh, side of the bone or not. You can see all the different bolts and nuts assembling the entire motorcycle together. It's looking more like a bike right now. Okay, next. This is the, um, for the plastic cover SMB and final part to control and for the inverted part. One wheel, new wheel, dumper, and steering. This and then to see and for the channel, we check the SMB cap and then check uh, the function for check the headlamp, side lamp, and horn or something. All the plastic parts are coming together. Yes. Uh, as Tesla owners like to say, checking for panel gaps. So we've got a QC team here making sure that everything looks fine. They're within the tolerance limits. The important is have the spot to like the like the uh, topic yes. side. In meaning okay, yes. left meaning something uh, have the accident or the low. When sub when uh, worker have the suspect or body issue, they first they they, they uh, put the yellow first okay. for leader come to check is have the cannot issue cannot soil okay can thought but cannot uh, soil for the ten minutes or below ten minutes we stop take the engineer uh, or manager. This is add the disciplinary for the 12 step to control. Yes, over there, the chop control steps. Step for the side. Okay. And now we hit further down. the rolling tester request the brake system for confirm the water and brake system is can within the our standard design. Over here we're testing the torque, but also testing the brakes. Make sure that it's safe, it's soft, everything works. This is basically the final assembled products. <laughs> Okay, this is for the uh, product inspection. You see, our coffee we confirm the function test. Function test again for the light, red light, sunny little lamp, big lamp, display, hall, and big again. Okay, next for to the parking. Okay, so once everything is checked, it's good to go. Yo. So she gives the okay. Okay. She says okay, then we drive. Yes. The bike all the way down to the show the for the data like the skipping area. Okay. Yes. One uh, one so vehicle had a three three plate. The three pages yes. quality checks for every check. bike. Everyone. Okay. So Let's follow the bike down to the parking area. Okay, this is temporary parking before uh, for the storage because now under construction for the make the uh, finish good storage and then we also for the uh, 
พาร์ทพีโปรดักชันอิสเปคชั่นบีฟอร์เซนทูเดอะดิลเลอร์ออเวอร์คัสเตอร์เบอร์คัมทูออเวอร์โชว์รูมแอนด์ฮิวอนออเวอร์เทคนิชเชียนแอนด์คิวซีทูคอนเฟิร์มมาเกนบัตเดอะฟังชั่นนอตไลท์ที่เดอะโปรดักชันไลท์บัตบีเทคกิ้งแบบพวกอินโฟแตนฟังชั่นทูเช็คบีฟอร์เซนทูออเวอร์คัสเตอร์เบอร์ really cool so you just seen the entire life cycle of building one bike how many bicycles do you plan to make every day Uh, start from we had the uh, for the distance 120 for eight hour. 120 bikes for every eight hour shift. Eight yeah, hour shift. Yeah. For now, if we plan for the start for the five five uh, per hour and then to 20 per hour. Really nice. So thank you so much, thank you so much. boy and team for yeah. showing us the assembly line. Thank you, good Noam, and also good Tony. For giving me a tour of your electric motorcycle production, how can we find out more information about your bikes? You can find us because we will launch our waiver in International Bangkok Motor Show on this March 20 in Bangkok. Okay, that's just about two weeks away from this video. If you'd like to find out more information about iMoto, you can go to the website at iMotoThailand.com. I'll put a link down in the video description. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated with more videos on EVs. No. Song. Song. I'm, I'm a